Hi guys, Robert here. I'm taking a little detour from the uh, guitar rebuild project. I um, actually need a few things to work on the rebuild. One of them is a 24 inch disc that is uh, actually dished out uh, on both sides. One to like a 20, 22 foot radius. The other one about a 28. To do that um, I needed to get my 3D duplicator working. So let me give you a quick rundown of what I've got. Um, it's actually a, an agglomeration, conglomerate of different ideas that I picked up from the internet. Um, underneath there's a, just a grid of 2x4s and everything to hold the MDF. Um, perfectly flat or as flat as I can get it. What I did is took a clue from, now I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, Matthias Wendell, uh, the duplicator he made. And as you can see, I have the green rollers on top. And yes, it is threaded into pine wood and it holds just fine. If I had a problem, I could always back it out, shoot some super glue in it, run the top back through it and it would hold for really long time. Underneath you see the silver washers acting as rollers and this is just a hold down and it works pretty well. To begin with I had some small bungee cords and that worked okay but not so great. From this view you can see that I actually threaded the arm using a quarter twenty bolt and I've got it locked in pretty tight and doesn't have any play. From the side view it's the same thing except I have a different type of hole down. You can see this piece comes up to here has a block runs all the way through and then the quarter 20 bolts pulls it up. I did use T-nuts on that. Um, the end blocks you have to be particular when you do the end blocks. Uh, the reason being you can wind up off center from one to the other so the general process is you'll take this one and the one on that end and you stack them together then you drill your hole. That winds up with perfectly centered as in a, or in agreement with each other. Um, then as they're stacked together you cut this in and you get the perfect height. Um, when I did that, don't really remember if I stacked all four of these together or what. I think I did to make sure I got the same height on all of them. Um, as you can see, I just have a screw running through to lock this together tight. And it's a little bit oversized hole, so I had to use some white shim, which is just some uh, Teflon type cutting board from Walmart. It's about 20 thousandths. Not that I'm a fan of Walmart. Um, I have no plans for this thing. Basically, I, you know, what I have is a prototype. My idea is to go back later with what I've put together and turn it into more or less a finished project. Uh, knowing me, that probably won't happen. Uh, originally, I had intended for this part to be able to swivel. What I found was the pin and bushings that I had in here wound up giving me too much play. So I put a screw in here and just locked it down. Here to mount the small router I actually oversized the hole and if you can there we go. If you can see that's Bondo. What I did I oversized the hole wrapped my router in uh, wax paper and smeared a bunch of Bondo over the surfaces on each side and clamped it up and it works great. There's no little play here but that's in the housing itself. It's not in the router. What I have here is one of the things that when you do guitar work which is what I look at I'm trying to do this holding hand you need a radius block for sanding on necks and stuff. So my idea is I have 
this cartridge system and I can pull this cartridge and as you can see it has a 12 inch radius it's more of the Teflon which doesn't glue very well but um, I'll do something maybe different or figure something else out but it gives me the radius so that I can play if I want a different radius I just make a different block and slide it in um, then of course all I have to do and it's a little bit tight I will go back later and change the rollers out to actual uh, ball bearing system but um, let me see if I can get this hooked into the tripod where you can watch and I'll give you a demonstration I have to do some editing here. That's not too bad. Pardon the noise. I have no choice with that. The idea, what I found is I can start at the top let it rest over here, which you can't see from this angle, but let it rest on the profile. And I can start here and just move back and forth. So let's move over to this side and I'll give you a good clear view. I start here, turn it on. Okay, I apologize again for the noise. Let's see if I can get a clear view of this. 
not so bad but as you can see it's actually cutting you know before I'm done it'll have a pretty decent radius and yeah it has some grooving um, that's something I'm going to work on if nothing else I can sand it out but it'll give me a, a sanding block the radius that I want so this is where I'm going and probably the next video I don't know there may be another one or two on the rebuild but I have to build a go bar deck if you don't know what that is you can look it up at uh, L&M or I think it's L&M and um, or Stuart McDonald either one you can find out thanks for watching bye